Okay, so we're going to go through how to print checks um, out of QuickBooks. So of course, if we're printing checks through QuickBooks, you know, on the right checks screen, I can print it right from here. Okay, if I'm going to mark a whole bunch of checks to be printed later, so we want to make sure that that print later button is here. The pay online button is, of course, if we're syncing to our bank and the bank's cutting the checks for us, type of thing. So once I once I mark it to print later, notice it makes it so that I can't put a number in because the number is going to be put in once I print those checks. Okay, same things with when I pay bills. I've checked off several bills to pay. My check, my payment method is check and I leave it to be printed down below here. Okay, all right. Now to print checks, I can go up to file and then print forms and then I have my print checks here. It prints or it, it organizes it based on which checks you need to print by account, right? By bank account. So I only have prints or checks to print out of the company checking account. And it has all the checks in here that I have marked to be print. If for some reason I'm not paying certain checks, I can uncheck those. Now these ones show they're pretty old, right? And they're still sitting here in here as my checks to be printed. So I'll talk about in just a second um, how to go in. Well, I'll talk about now. So I can't just double click from here, right? It doesn't allow me. It doesn't have a go to here. So generally what I have to do is I have to go find. So 98276. So I'll hit control F to do a find and I'll do an advanced find for amount equal to 98226. Is that the amount? Uh, let's see. <laughs> Vendors, print forms, checks. 98276, whoops. So 98276 and hit find. Then I have that check in here, right? And notice that it's marked to be printed later. So, I mean, most likely, again, this is so long ago. I just want to get it out of that print queue. So I uncheck that to be printed later. I can put in the check number if I have the check number or if I don't have one, I can leave it blank or put an EFT or whatever it is, save and close. Now when I go in to print checks again, right, that check's not in here to be printed. So if you have some old ones sitting in there that every week you have to go uncheck them, just take a minute, get them cleaned out. Okay, so now these are the checks that we're going to print. Um, one of them doesn't have a payee, so it's probably something we want to take a look at. Um, so I'm just going to select a couple checks. You want to put in here your first check number. If this is the first time you're printing checks, I would suggest uh, you know, doing a test check. So just printing one, figuring out how it prints out, what order it prints out, maybe printing two, right? Because um, you want to make sure that you have the right preferences set up for printing checks. So I'm going to say the first check number is 2050. And then I say, okay. It has some preferences here, again, right? To, to collate the, the uh, the um, checks to make sure that of the order that they're printing in, right? That's what I was talking about. You choose your printer, what type of checks you use. Um, you do have some settings in here on how to add your signature image and and things like that. If it's a blank check stock that doesn't have your company name and address, you want to print it on there. Or if you need to print your logo, you can. If you need help with ordering checks, I mean, checks are so easy to order nowadays. We definitely have, um, you know, pricing and how to set those up because printing the company name and address and also printing the logo on every check usually ends up costing quite a bit of money in ink. So you want to make sure to get those set up ahead of time. Okay, so then we can just print those out. Okay. Now once I print them, right, it takes me back um, or it would say did these, ch well, let me go ahead and do it. So I'm going to just print it to a, so select none, one, two, okay. I'm going to choose to, to print it to a PDF printer for now. So it pops, pops up a box and it says, did these checks print appropriately, right? So if the alignment was off or whatever it is, right, picked up check number one, two, I could say, you know, these checks didn't print appropriately. I need to reprint them. So if I select that reprint button, what it does is that check number goes away um, and then they're sitting in the queue now waiting for me to print again. Okay, so I say select those. I say okay. Now when I go in to print my forms again, print checks, 
those are still in here for me to print out, right? And it allows me, notice it picks up check number three, so if I'm back to one again, because I was doing a test print, I can just change that number there, okay? <clears throat> so there is a preference where you can choose what is printed out on the checks. So if I go to Edit and Preferences, and then I have my checking preferences here, and again, this is going to be a company preference. You make sure you have the right permissions. So you can choose to print the account names on the voucher. That's going to be, you know, the expense account names or the item names. Um, they have the ability also uh, to put the payee account number. So if you have set up an account number at the vendor area, you can put that account number in the check memo field. So that's one of the preferences there. But if you have, let's say you do print the account numbers or maybe you're paying so many bills that it doesn't, you, you don't have the ability to put that or it, it, you know, it's too long for your check payment stub. You do have the ability to come in and print forms and just print the bill payment stubs, right? So they have all the checks that you've recently cut. So I'm gonna say select none and then just choose a couple. I can hit preview and what this does is it prints out a bill payment stub. So again, if I ha was paying so many bills that it wouldn't print out on that voucher, I may wanna include the bill payment stub um, when I send out the bill, so the so the vendor knows how many bills I'm paying or what you know which exactly bills I'm paying. Okay, so that's how to pay bills.